Hello everyone, <laughs> welcome back to the channel. Uh, I am Josh and I'm an American. And I'm Hope and I'm South African. We're living here in South Africa. We met in America and now we've moved here and we just went grocery shopping for the week and that's what you see in front of us right here. Mm -hmm. And we are gonna go over the bill to see how much we spent. So let's see the total here was 738 rand uh -huh. and it was under 40 US dollars. Um, so we're gonna break down everything and see what what uh, what all we got and how much it was. We went to Food Lovers Market, which is one of my favorite grocery stores here in South Africa. And on Tuesday, they do have like a special, so it's a good day to go. But uh, yeah, check out everything we got. I'd say it's at least a, a week's worth of food, if not more. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we are now gonna go through each item, item by item, and let mm -hmm. you know how much it costs. We'll let you know in Rand, and then we'll either tell you the US dollar or I'll, I'll put it on the screen if we don't tell you. No, we'll tell you. Okay. I, ha I have the calculation, so I'll, we'll tell you both Rands and dollars. Okay. Yes. All right, so the first one was this baguette, baguette. Yes. And it was fresh, like still steamy when it came out of the oven. It was very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, they have all this stuff, baked goods that are so fresh every day. And it's been such a nice thing for us to just go get fresh bread. So, so, so many fresh pastries. I mean, yes. it's like a, a competition to not get yeah. them all. And that was 17 rands and 92 cents. So not even dollars. a dollar, 92 yes. cents. Yeah. All right, next we'll do the kumquats. Some pots were 20 rands, which is a dollar eight cents. I've never seen these before. I've heard of them. <laughs> I've heard as, a, as an insult, like you're such a kumquat. In, in the States, it means like you're not smart. <laughs> um, <laughs> Maybe because they're so tiny. I don't know. Yeah, uh, you have a kumquat brain. I think that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, so they're very small. It's like in between an orange and a lemon. Right. Um, they're good and they're really nice for garnishing mixed drinks with. That's what we do. Mm. I make mojitos for hope. Yes. I put one of these on. I like my mojitos. Okay. Right, so and the kumquats were 20 rands, which is a dollar eight cents. Okay, so kumquats were 20 rand, just over a dollar, a dollar and eight cents. Yes. Okay, next, grapes. These are out of season. They've gotten a lot more expensive lately. And I've eaten some. Yeah. So they're full. Yeah, it was a little bit more full than this, <laughs> but it didn't make it all the way home. Yeah. So how much? They're so good though. It was 60 rands. I think they're one of the most expensive stuff yeah, that we got. Yeah. How much are they normally though in season? They're more like 20 or 30? Yeah, they're uh, 50 for two. 50 for two. So, so now is, it's double the price. This is more, more, than more than doubled in price when it's out of season. Yeah. But it's still $3.25 for this. Yeah. So that's like, that's like pretty expensive. Although, and that's another thing about SA. Usually when things are in season, they're very, very affordable. Yes. And then when they're not, then they're very expensive. Right, right, yeah. right. And that's a new one for me because I'm used to, in the States, everything's always out of season, kind of. So we <laughs> just have it shipped in all the time. Right. But like the bananas here in SA right now are not good. Mm -hmm. Like they just don't taste ripe. Uh, I don't know that maybe they're a little bit more expensive. I didn't know. I don't know because we haven't been eating them. Yeah, they're not very but they're like not worth getting right now. Yes, and it's winter just for yeah. people who are not in South right. Africa. Yeah, yeah. We are in winter it's right in now. The middle of winter. I'm cold. Okay, so this didn't we buy this with yes. the oranges? Yes. Okay, and so this two was, them was four, 25. four grapefruit and maybe like 10 little oranges. Yeah. We call them narkis, mm -hmm. yeah. They're like tangerines. Mm -hmm. And this was both of these for 25 rand. No, sorry, yeah, 25. 25 rand, which is a dollar thirty-five. One dollar thirty-five cents for, for all of that. So if you want to eat healthy, yeah. come to South Africa because that, it is so cheap. That's one of the biggest changes is the healthy food here is cheaper. Ingredients. If you want to yes. go buy you know, gluten-free frozen bread. Yeah. It's probably still pretty expensive. But if you want to just buy tomatoes, which we'll, be, we'll do the next one, all three of these, I'm gonna have to make some tomato stew. <laughs> yeah. Tomato soup stew. I think there were um, 
25. 25. So same yeah. thing as all the fruit, all of this. So that was a dollar. 35? Yeah, dollar 35. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure. Look at that. It's a lot of yes, cherry tomatoes. It's a dollar 35. So it's the same price as the two fruits that we just had. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, we got these right on our way out. It's, yes, uh, trail mix. Fruit and nut. Yeah. Snack mix. These are usually so expensive. I mean, if you get this at the garage when you're traveling at the gas, gas station, mm -hmm. this is a lot of money. Yeah, in the States too, this is like an expensive snack. But yeah. how, how much was it for these two? It was $2.31, sure which is 50 rands. For both of them? Yes. $2.70, 50 rand. Here it is. Mm. <laughs> these ones look like they have. Um, they have a lot of raisins on top, but yeah. at the bottom they do have a lot of nuts. Okay. Apples, Granny Smith apples. They were 30 rand. 30 rand. Apples are like my favorite food, guys. I eat this whole bag every week, at least. Yeah. 30 rand, so $1.62. He loves his apples. Mm -hmm. And he eats them by himself. I like <laughs> She has bites. I have bites every now and then. These yeah. I haven't seen before. Normally it's normal bell peppers. But these, they call them paprika. Paprika? Okay, I remember seeing them. Pep I see them. 25 rand, so it's a dollar 25. Same thing, 25 yeah. rand. 25 rand for the paprika. Three nice peppers. I've noticed green peppers in South Africa are very, very cheap. But if you want red and yellow, it's like one yellow pepper is twice the price of a green pepper. So you get this much, much cheaper, or much yes. more, more expensive, but these were fairly cheap. Okay, let's do, these yes. was something I was so against when me and first when I first met Hope. And um, I use this all the time. She was like, just put soup in it. And I was like, I can make it. I know how to season food. I know how to thicken sauce. But these are lifesavers, guys. Uh, uh, these were 20 Rand for four. Yes. So five Rand each. And I think I normally pay like 10 or 12 per. Yes. Um, so they were a dollar eight cents. We got oxtail and vegetable. Uh -huh. Thick white onion. Because I like that. I like thick white onion. <laughs> onion. Hearty beef. And a cream of chicken. Yes. So Wait, you just tell them uh, how they work for people who don't. So you just make like your either gravy or stew. Mm -hmm. And then instead of like adding flour or roux, and seasoning, this just takes care of it. So it yes. does everything. And there's so many different flavors, you know, it's like there's an option for everything. They've got everything you can need and they're super affordable too. I mean, this was just over a dollar, right? Cause it's- A dollar eight cents. A yeah. dollar and eight cents. And then I use one of these at least twice. I've never put a whole one of these in a dinner yes, because it's yes. just me and her. Yeah. So like, that's, that's eight dinners. They go a long way. Mm -hmm. The long way. The long way. Guys, can I just tell you that Josh told me how to remember the capital city of Malawi and it's Lilongwe and then he says, take the long way to Malawi. So that's why when I said take a long way, I said Lilongwe <laughs> because every time I think long way, I think long way to Malawi. That's the best so, way to memorize. Yeah, so if you want to know the capital city of Malawi, it's Lilongwe, which is the long way to Malawi. Take Lilongwe. All right, next we have turnips. My American grandmother, if you see this, I got it because you taught me how to uh, cook these. Oh, and I yes. haven't seen turnips before. I don't know if I've made them for you. You oh, have. It's yeah. like In potatoes. Yes. Yeah. So we either do them roasted. Right. Or. They're very mashed. good. I like yeah. them. But 20 so they were 25 francs, which is $1.35. Mm -hmm. Very cheap. Very, very cheap. Okay. Can you guys believe this is all less than $40? Almond milk. This is very expensive. Almond and oat milk. <laughs> Almond and oat milk. <laughs> this is usually very expensive. Yeah. But, but today. Yeah, we said but at the same time. <laughs> it was 100 Rand for all three of these, which was $5.41. Yes. But I, I would say one of these is four dollars in the states, right? No, remember in the states they come in, in gallons. Oh, that's so right. in the states, this is one thing that is very 
cheap for yeah. me in the States, which is more expensive here. That's a thing. Because in the States, it's $2.71 per gallon. Per gallon. But we also used to buy them at Sam's for six dollars for three for for um three gallons. Is yeah. this an American product? Though? Yes, it is. It's coming from it California. It's proudly produced and distributed in South Africa. But it's it's an American company, right? That's what I thought. So this one's a little bit more expensive See, here. Oh, maybe it's, it's I don't know. But it we just found says, deals. Yeah, it just says grown on our California farms. Okay, so the nuts. It's blue diamond, so it's American. The nuts come from the states, and they turn it into milk here. Right, okay. but it's it's an American company. It is because yeah. I know blue diamond. That, that was a Japanese question. So this was five forty one for all three. Yes. Yeah, five dollars forty one cents for three liters. So yes, you know, a little over a gallon. Yeah. yeah. No, it, it's more expensive here. Okay, this is one of the biggest changes moving here. Mayonnaise in America, I don't know what you're doing, but you need to learn from this company. When they say tangy, they are not messing around. This is the best mayonnaise I have ever had in my life. This is so, so good. So, so good. How much was this? Uh, baby, this makes me so happy. I love this <laughs> This is going to be one of the hardest things to miss when when we leave. I know in the States they sell it though. Oh, they uh, do this yeah. kind? No, you know, it's a South African store that we can Oh, order. okay, okay. This was 40 rands. 40 rands. So which is 217. 217 for this. I mean, that's a big jar of really high quality mayonnaise. I'm still looking. I think, yeah, it was... Oh, I'm sorry. It was 48. 48 rand? Yeah. So... So I'm going to do it again. Two dollars and sixty cents. Mm -hmm. So a little bit more, but still, I think that's cheaper than a glass jar of Hellman's. You know, nice, some good mayonnaise. And, and Hellman's is good mayonnaise, I would say. Mm -hmm. This blows it out of the water. This is so much better. American mayonnaise is just like boring in comparison. You heard it. Mm -hmm. I didn't say it. Heard it. He's the American. I'm not afraid. <laughs> this. My, my favorite biscuits, mm -hmm. which are cookies. Not cookies. See, it says ginger biscuits, but these are cookies. They just, I don't know what they're talking about. In the States, they call it cookies. Yeah. But we South Africans call it biscuits. Biscuits come with KFC. No, those are scones. <laughs> scones those don't scones. exist. It's either biscuits or cookies. I don't have scones. But anyway, because he's an essay, they're also yeah. written biscuits. He's gonna say biscuits. Yeah, I say biscuits. Do is. I think they're 35 rand for two. Yeah, so these run special 35 rand for two, $1.89 for both of them. Yes. And these are what I would call expensive biscuits yes. here. Yeah. Like these are pretty quality. Yeah. You, you see them sometimes for like 20, 30 rand yes. just for one. So yeah. two for 35, that was a good deal. Yes. Um, these are very high quality. Even when you. Bite into them. You can tell. You know, with biscuits, I feel like you can tell when you taste it that this right. is high quality, right. and that is very high quality. My love, be careful. Look at it. It's gonna fall. Ah! Okay, three onions. I think the onions were thirteen rands. Nice onions. You're yeah, pretty typical. thirteen rands. Most people should be able to recognize. I know, I know that the 13. price is off by heart. I saw it. It's 13 rand, 70 cents. 13 rand, 70 cents for three onions. So, I mean, maybe not mind blowing, but it's cheap. I mean, it's really <laughs> affordable. Okay. Excuse me. Leave in here. Okay. All right, now we're on to protein. All the meats. So, first thing we got was... Chicken breast? Yes. Let's start there. We got two things of chicken breasts. I'll just calculate quickly. Mm -hmm. And there was four chicken breasts. Let's see how much it weighs. It was 48, right? So, 680 grams. A little bit over half a kilo. So, 48 for one? It? Yeah, yeah. So one was 40. Eight, and seven, the other one was 46. And one was 46. So it was yeah. $5, about five ten, five dollars ten cents. No, Each. for both. For both. For both. Okay, yeah. yeah. So five dollars for both of those eight yeah. chicken breasts. Yes. Which is like a little over a, or like a hundred rand. Right. Yes, it was a hundred rand. And then we got minced pork, five hundred grams. Minced pork! <laughs> That's what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. Does it have a price? It does not. 
because I'm out here looking for minced pork. And I thought I knew where everything was. Okay, we can move to the Hague first. And then I'll be looking for. Oh, I found it. Okay. 40 rands. 40 rands. Yes. So $2, $2.15. Yeah. Let's see how good I am. Two I think seventeen. It's he was so close. I said two fifteen. <laughs> yeah, two dollars. That's closest right? without going over. That's a yes. safe bet. Yes. yes, yes. Okay, and then the last thing, hake is not a fish I'm familiar with in the States. I'm trying to think of like what I would compare it to, like cod? trout. Like cod? Trout, cod's a little thicker. Like yeah. cod has really thick meat on it, but trout, like river trout, not ocean trout, but river trout that's just like a small fish with white meat. Um, really popular fish here. Yeah, but I cannot compare it to anything. Even when he's yeah. saying trout, to me, it doesn't even sound like it because yeah. I know him. Right. But the so Americans listen to Josh. There's seven, seven baby hake in there. And For we'll, 85 reds. We'll cut that in half and have that seven times, so. <laughs> seven dinners, 85 rand, $4 and 60 cents. Yes. So for me moving here to South Africa, one of the biggest changes is how affordable the food is. Mm -hmm. I mean, compared to what I'm used to, the food is literally half the price yeah. most of the time. I mean, 50% off all food prices here in South mm -hmm. Africa in comparison to the States. Now, you know, it's like all adjusted to income and everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, food, $40 worth of food. Less. Yeah, less than $40 worth of food. It was quite a bit. I and mean, yeah. we were definitely, that we could eat fish every night and not have touched the chicken or the mince. So it's more than a week's worth Yeah, of yeah, dinners. it's more than a week. Yeah. So let us know what you thought. Let us know how much it is for a week's worth of groceries wherever you're staying. Yes. Um, does it seem like a lot of food for the money? Does yeah. it not seem like a lot of food? Tell us what you think. Yeah. And if you go, if you live in South Africa, look for deals. Cause I think Macro has deals, mm -hmm. Food Lovers Market. Macro has deals for things that are canned and in packages. And then Food Lovers Market has deals that are for fresh food and yes. meats. So if you wanna save some money on grocery shopping, check those two stores out. Yeah, I We think, love them. I think Food Lovers is the best deal consistently on produce. Right. Now you have to buy what they have on sale yes. typically, because if you want to get the grapes, those weren't cheap. Yes. You know, but some, you know, if you get their sales, especially, they have some really good sales on Tuesday. But we do shop at a lot of places. We get some specialty things from Woolies. Yes. Um, I go to Spar constantly just mm -hmm. for like my day to day getting a snack or just getting a quick little thing here and there. And then I go to Food Lovers once a week, but it's really those three. Yeah, and macro. Every once in a while. Macro every once in a while. We go to macro. We went for detergents, mm -hmm. uh, for fabric con conditioners. Yeah. Yeah. So we call it Stuff Soft here. Stuff Soft is the mm -hmm. brand, but okay. we just call the brand name. Okay. So we, uh, we went for, so, for, so, for fabric softener. <laughs> I'm powered to do it. But yeah, that's it. Okay. Do you want to do the goodbye? Bye everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Let us know what you thought and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. -bye. Yes.